Hey guys, what's up, we jump here, and welcome back to my command block tutorial. Um, today we will be covering Talraw, Execute, and Effect. Um, so, I will show you guys the rest of them behind this after I teach you Talraw, and unfortunately, play sound seems to be broken, but I was planning to teach you that this episode. Um, but unfortunately, as I said, it's broken, so not much we could do about that. Also, I want to show you guys an interesting bug that, even in between Snapshot, hasn't been fixed. Um, and I am yet to tell anybody about this yet, but I'm hopefully going to re remember to report this. If not, you guys should report this. But um, when holding shift, you could glitch through blocks um, if you're under them. And specifically, those blocks are, I believe, glass. I don't think you'd be able to do it on something like Obsidian. Oh! Or you can. Okay, yeah, so this is a very um, interesting bug, definitely, because you'll notice if I stand here and I... Um, well, yeah, you saw anyways that I was able to glitch through it. So let me actually try this again really quick, do some interesting bug testing to see for Mo Yang what to fix. <laughs> because I was testing this last episode, uh, recorded last week, and there's a snapshot uh, in between them. So... Yeah, so you could literally just shift through it. Uh, I promise I'm not using any trickery or anything. This is actually what is going on. And I'm not sure why. Um, apparently that's not the spawn point. I will set the spawn point correctly in just a second. But I thought that was worth mentioning. Found a little bit of an interesting thing. Uh, let me just quickly go ahead and set the world spawn to here. Oops, not set block. Set world spawn. There we go. And... So, as you remember from earlier, we are covering Telraw, Execute, and Effect. So the first thing I'm going to teach you is Telraw. Now, Telraw is a command that works very, very simply. Um, so I'm going to show you guys how this works really quick. Let me just give myself, of course, a command block, because that's what we need for every episode. Um, so, when you're in your command block, um, if you remember last time, when I did the title command, I showed you a very interesting uh, kind of format that you had to put it in, or syntax, um, if you're familiar with that type of language. Um, so let me go ahead and show you um, that it's, it's a very similar thing. So what you're going to do is you're going to tell raw the person's name. I'm just going to do add A because I want anybody in this world to be able to see it, even though I'm currently the only one logged on because this is a single-player world. So I'm going to go text is... Um, uh, let's have, let's say what commands we've covered. And I want them to be in different colors, and I know there's a way to do, um, multi-colors, um, inside of these tell raw things, but I can't remember how to do it right now. Um, so for now, we'll just have multiple different colors. Oops, so, yeah, color in quotes. And then let's have it as, um, purple. Because I believe that is a valid color. Alright, so now if we grab ourselves a button. Command's covered, right? Uh, but it doesn't look like purple is a valid color. So if we go once again, scoreboard, teams, option, and then our test team, and we go to color. Those are the colors, but uh, yeah, but we do have a dark purple option. Interesting how there's no light purple or anything. Anyways, yeah, so command's covered. And then, I can actually increase my chat now that I'm no longer on a server. And, um, I'm gonna turn off command feedback once again. Um, so, last episode we covered the title command and the fill command, basically. That was it. We didn't really, uh, we weren't very productive in that episode, unfortunately. So, what I'm going to do actually is, um, to save time, I'm going to copy this command that's here. So, the first one, uh, so, let's see, episode one, we color, we covered fill, and, um, what was the other one we covered? I'm already, f oh, oh, fill and, or fill summon, I forgot we did summon, that was what took up most of our episode, um, and title. And then we're going to have this one, and let's have a nice aqua color, because aqua is a cool color. So, command's covered, episode 1, 
fill some in on title. And basically what's going to happen is I'm going to add one for each episode. So um, we're going to have episode one, fill some in title, episode two. Um, we are covering today... Uh, let me find that again. I wish I have a quick way in here, but... Tell raw, execute, and effect. So, we're covering tell raw. I can't believe I forgot tell raw because that's the one I'm working on right now. Um, execute. And, oops. Effect. And, in terms of colors, let's see what we had. So, scoreboard teams, option, one, color. Um, we could use a nice... Uh, sorry, we're probably weren't able to hear me about. Oh, we could use light. Uh, no, we already used purple already. Uh, how about? Uh, shoot, didn't mean to do that. Dark green, because um, I like green. <laughs> so now we we have cut all that stuff. Super easy to do. You'll notice that it took just like three command blocks to create that really cool looking thing. If I clear my chat, so I'll look a lot nicer. Now you'll notice. Boom, so it looks really awesome. I like that, definitely. Once again, sorry about background noise, my puppy is going crazy. Let me head up here again. And, um, yeah, so once again, you'll notice. Oops. Um, I think you could shift click on these to have them go back and out. Never mind. Let's try this. Yeah, it sounds about right, because that's apparently not going to make any noise. I guess that's... Yeah, so that, I think, should fix the sound thing, since I accidentally broke that block. Yeah, it sounds okay enough. Um, so we already covered Telraw, basically. Um, there are a couple other things... Um, well, there are pretty much two other things that are important with Tell Raw to know. One of the things that I use a lot is a chat clearer, uh, basically, with this. So there's a very simple way to do that. And what I'm first going to do is I'm going to create myself a, um, a bit of a clock. Um, thing to do here, I'm not going to bother with command blocks. I'm just going to make, like, a really long repeater chain. Um, and I'm gonna basically have this base, uh, run every so often. Eventually I'll change it to a hopper clock, which I've done before. I used to have one, for example, for clearing items. Uh, which also include Telraw, of course, because I need to warn people. In a way, kind of a clear lag in Minecraft. Um, right, so when it gets to this side, what it's going to do... Is it'll run the command... Um, Telraw... At a uh, text, and then basically when you type backslash n, then it'll go ahead and create a new line. So if you go ahead and create a bunch of these backslash n's, um, it's going to um, just basically create a bunch of blank lines, so to speak. So whenever this will run, you'll notice it says tell raw right now. Um, not working. What? Did it not activate? It doesn't look like it activated. Huh. This is really odd. Give me one moment. Um, raw JSON message text. Um, maybe I have to put like a space at the end or something. Oh, you know, I think you have to have some sort of, like, character, um, along the way, rather than just a bunch of blank lines. Yeah. Or maybe that's not it. So, guys, unfortunately, the Telro command doesn't seem to be working with when you add a lot of these slash ends, which is weird because it was working fine before, so there seems to be some sort of weird thing with that, because I was able to do it in my Leecher concept map, um, which I actually accidentally activated during... Um, the demonstration of it. Um, so I'm not sure why that stopped working. It may just be that I was typing it wrong or something, but yeah, it doesn't seem to be working. So doing instead, 
is on both sides, I'm just going to add um, two of these. So these are very simple. They're simply having a bunch of these slash ends. For some reason, if I add um, many, uh, very many more, it just breaks. And then if I activate this simple clock, you'll notice now there's nothing there. Now, of course, I know you could do F3 and D to clear chat, but this way I won't have to deal with it all the time, and it'll just kind of clear automatically for me. Um, I don't know, that's just one thing you could do. I'm going to actually not use it in this world because I'm going to be using it a fair amount in this world. Like, for example, um, if I head back over to here, you remember that I had this thing, and I keep forgetting what commands I'm going to cover. Um, so, next we are going to cover the execute command. Now, execute, um, let me see if I have the world on here. Um, in, XP, in my XP uh, collectors or XP attractors world that I used, this was one of the big commands. Um, or sorry, not XP tractors. I'm confusing myself. I meant the... All right, yeah, I don't seem to have it on here, unfortunately. But I was looking for the world, if you remember, uh, my first command lock contraption. Uh, it is one command, so I may install it in a future point in the series, but basically, what execute allows you to do is it allows you to run a command as an entity, if that makes sense to you. I'll show you, for example, if I were to summon a bunch of chickens, uh, here, like the so, I could go, for example, execute, add e, type equals chicken, uh, at their relative location. I usually don't mess around with those specific coordinates. Now I could go tp... Um, wave jump games. Uh, like so. And, oh, gosh. TP add e type equals chip. Uh, or TP at a at e type equals chicken. So it'll try and teleport. Um, you know, I don't. I don't know. Anyways, basically the way it works um, is what I did was I executed as the entity type. So for example, if I want to be a ch if I want to execute as a chicken, I could basically then or sorry, you're executing as the player because that way the player doesn't need to run the command itself. They'll be done by a command block. Um, or I could of course just do that P, but I already had that E in there. So I figured I might as well do that. Then I could go like this, um, and I could go. Uh, and type in the command, so I could be like tp add e at p. And it'll automatically teleport all the entities to me, because it's acting as, I'm if, as if I'm the one running the command. So, this is a extremely useful thing for maps, um, and I uh, happen to use it a lot. You'll notice it used a lot if you ever go into the redstone of some things. Uh, let me just kill everything really quick here. Of course, I do type equals. I could do type equals not player, but I don't. That doesn't really matter too much to me right now. So that's just a basic overview of it. We will visit it later in the series um, when we go ahead and use it more. And if there is a command you want me to review again or questions or anything, go ahead and let me know in the comments. So, anyways, the last one that we wanted to cover was effect. Now, effect is a pretty simple one. You don't have to use it in command blocks, um, but it's pretty cool. So, what I could do. You go effect wave jump games, then I could type in the name of the effects. If you press tab, you can find them. There are a lot of them. Say, for example, I wanted to, I'm in spiral mode and I want health boost uh, by command block. So if you go in that command block, I can put health boost. Um, and of course, you have to choose amount of seconds. Let's say just five seconds, and we want the maximum level. Now, you could go up to level 255, and your seconds could go up pretty high. And then true will hide the particles, or false. Uh, we'll decide not to. Of course, you could also type effect your, uh, your name clear if you want to clear all your effects. But yeah, so you'll notice that instantly worked. But if I were to wait for this to clear, and rather than doing 255, do 2, you'll notice that it uh, works on a much smaller scale. This also works for things like speed. So if I were to give myself speed, and then type 5, and then say 25, you'll notice I get to run really fast for 25 seconds. I have speed up to a certain level that doesn't even show up anymore. But if I were to go say speed 5255, five, five, uh, I'm actually going a lot faster. 
um, or, you know, speed with no amplifier will work like this. And interestingly, this is exploitable sometimes. Um, like, Phoenix SC found a certain thing with healing potions where you could actually give it a certain amplifier um, if you spawned in the potion, and it would instantly kill you. So, that's a bit of an interesting thing. Um, anyways, I'm gonna actually end off this episode here, so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. If you did, go ahead and share it with your friends, and leave a like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Anyways, yeah, I hope you have enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Bye! If you have enjoyed this video, if you did, go ahead and leave a like, and don't hesitate to share the video with your friends if you